And so we agree. Whenever someone takes us off topic, they get their arm hair yanked off. <laughs> Gonna let that happen, or the girl who does my eyebrows will think I've been cheating on her. <laughs> All right. Now, one benefit of quantum coupling. Boys, well, a question. Who decides if someone's gone off topic? I think it'll be pretty clear. If not, we'll take a vote. Oh, also. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> but we didn't vote. We didn't have to. That was clearly a tangent. Now, come on. Back to work. If we're leaning towards quantum coupling, then we should. <laughs> You said quantum coupling. That made me think of the show Quantum Leap. That's a tangent, and it's your fault. That's ridiculous. Sheldon, I vote that is not a tangent. Yeah, thank you. And now I owe you one. Yeah. <laughs> that was your fault. Yes. <laughs> that is a lot of hair. Oh. And now I'm going to hear it from Jenny. <laughs> Everyone stop. This is a stupid idea. Negative reinforcement isn't working. I think you mean positive punishment. Negative reinforcement is the removal of a positive stimulus. It's a common mistake. Negative reinforcement is really wrong? Well, it's used incorrectly all the time. Even Bill Murray makes that mistake in the first scene of Ghostbusters. No way. Not Bill Murray. I'm studying the effect of negative reinforcement on ESG stability. Huh. Bill Murray did get it wrong. Jump ahead to the state level. 